What's up, everyone? We are here with some Red Dead Redemption, the first one. It's an old one, but... <laughs> it's an old one, but... Better late than never. The Model T. Or the Model A. Rockstar Games presents Red Dead Redemption. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. <laughs> innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly <laughs> trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. 
Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. <laughs> what you must remember, <coughs> my dear, is that we have been. I got no plans of skipping the these up. These are all the word talking and civilization. Scenes, so. They are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Come on! Now, fella told me 
he was out in Blackwater a few months back and stole one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Without horses. God damn it, Jake. Come on. Why are you fucking horse? You look like Hold on. Yeah, fuck all that crap. Command with a lot on his mind, Mr. Marston. So I won't bother you none with my chatter. Coyotes, what a waste of good meat. Give you almost there, Mr. Marshall, just over this hill. Just over this hill. Come on. Yeah. Listen, mister. <laughs> this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. I hate when they this do that. This is where we part crap. ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. I love when they do that crap. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Yeah. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! I fucking hate when people do that crap. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Yeah. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. <coughs> you only seemed... I didn't even see them come yourself. through. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little oh, bit yeah. more impressive next time. Well, oh, <laughs> poor John. John, you should have done that. Poor John. Poor guy got shot. <laughs> Poor guy.
Are you John? <laughs> Damn right. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Nice. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss. Bonnie. Oh. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. John Newcomer was your know. brother, and John Yetter. So what were you doing? Trying to your, give Mr. Williams a pack? chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. <laughs> and, uh, what are you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you. Thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Sweet. Oh, but he still runs. Yeah. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about okay. time I started what? paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Let's go and... Hello, sir. Do you even know where you're going? There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Pop on up. You won't bite. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Yeah? Freeze, woman! Pull away the gun. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Yeah? for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folks like yourself. At your old house, you had four horses and three goats and chickens. Nice. I don't have time to be waiting around. Come on, boy. Get up. 
That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Oh, that's nice. My Paul and built here it we too. Are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. Drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> <coughs> That's why sure. I said this Come is on like in. I'll show you the house. Old life you when can people sit for play while. these Thank types you. of games. Yeah? Mr. Marston. Ms. McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Yes. Hold my beer, please. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Again. I'll try not to. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. <laughs> yes, we should. Put away this fucking gun. Let's get going. We've still oh, got plenty go. of ground to cover. Rabbit stew sounds good. Yeah. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Away from the chicken. Two chickens. You got all chickens. That horse is a wild one, I reckon. Yeah, she's a little wild. This is you, Mr. Marston. 
Well, thank you. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. I'll go right to bed, ma'am. Or will I? There ain't no blanket. Change all fits. Nah, we'll stay with that one. Oh yeah. It can be race time, I'll shoot her fucking horse. He still moves like he was never shot. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. Too bad you, know, you can't play cards yet. Yeah, yeah I'm never good at that on here, but... What you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets. So oh, I ain't a city dweller. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. You better have your big girl panties on. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Well, fuck you will. Gee up! Gee up! Let's go. On the count of three. Three, <coughs> two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Mr. Father. Yeah! Woo! I forgot about that. 